Well, hey now. Welcome to Fitz's Electric Bar. Fourth installment in mood music. And today I'm going to be looking at what I would uh, call working music. And uh, I define that as music that I like to put on when I need to be doing work. Uh, not physical work, but mental work. So sitting at a desk, um, trying to get some stuff done, whether it's administrative or communicating or something like that. <clears throat> so one of the criteria for me is that it needs to be, I guess, instrumental. In most cases, I feel like I can really only focus on my tasks at hand if I'm listening to instrumental music. It wasn't always the case, so it must be that uh, my ability to focus and concentrate is waning as I get older, but um, that's kind of a, a, a criteria, I guess. And um, so, without further ado, I've got four records here, two in vinyl form, two in CD form that I have not uh, been able to get on vinyl just yet. Um, first one, of course, you've got to figure that <clears throat> Brian Eno would be in, in the conversation and Robert Fripp as well. So <clears throat> I love, uh, I love this record. Um, I also like No Pussyfooting, but I like this one better. Um, this is, uh, for me, um, like a lot of the, the music I think that I like in terms of working, uh, soundtracks to to do to do mental tasks with is that uh, there's repetition and it is um, not intrusive. So this record, uh, needless to say, is great. It's in, in fact, it's it's kind of funny. I almost feel like Brian Eno should be doing uh, one of his ambient records. You know, music for airports, um, music for Thursday afternoon, um, and a lot of his themed based um, ambient records. Uh, one should have been done called Music for Working. Um, but uh, ultimately, a lot of his music is uh, excellent, I think, in the background. Um, can be foreground or background, but this is uh, a really good one. And Robert Fripp, with his Frippatronics and kind of um, repetitive looping sounds, and I mean that in the most positive way, is really great. Um, so, Evening Star. Another one that you may or may not know about is uh, Anwar Brahm. I'm not sure exactly how you pronounce his name. This is on the ECM label. <clears throat> uh, I think this came out around, yeah, early 2000s, 2002. Um, you can imagine from looking at this, it almost looks like a, uh, a um, Bergman film, you know, uh, or I suppose a French film. Uh, sparse... Um, uh, I guess kind of has a, an element of, uh, of the, um, intelligentsia, I guess, or I, I don't know, philosophical. Um, but there are only three instruments on this. Anwar Brahm plays the oud, um, Francois Couturier is the piano and Jean-Louis Matinier is the accordion and, uh, creates a, just a tremendous mood. Um, not intrusive, beautiful background, soundtracky kind of uh, uh, quality to it. Um, this album is called Le Pas du Chat Noir, and um, excellent, excellent record. You know, a lot of this stuff I feel can be transferred into different moods as well. This could be on my rainy day music. Um, this could be also uh, on my funeral soundtrack. <laughs> yes, I've got that one coming up. Um, so... It's a good one. Uh, third one is on CD, and it is A Winged Victory for the Sullen. I don't know if you guys are familiar with these guys, but um, there was a record store in Toronto many years ago, or actually not that long ago. It just closed, unfortunately, called Soundscapes. And I used to be able to go in there and talk to the staff, and they would... Uh, recommend some stuff for me and um, this was one that came back as one that I might enjoy and I really do. Um, also very ambient, very quiet, um, no vocals and um, just gorgeous listening. Could be for a rainy day, could be Sunday music and definitely mood music for working. So that's great. And then my ultimate, ultimate one also still on CD. So Steve Reich Music for 18 Musicians. This one to me is the epitome of great um, 
a great soundtrack to working. And I'll tell you, the other stuff is all kind of really quiet, um, ambient, um, might even say a bit melancholic, I suppose. This one um, is just bizarre. It, it makes the hairs stick up in the back of my neck um, in a good way, but um, very hypnotic. Uh, any of you familiar with Steve Reich would know this album, but it's it it makes me just sit up straight. Um, it it tends to make me feel very energized and very productive. I find that I can get a lot of stuff done when I'm listening to this. Also an ECM release, as was the Anwar Abraham. Um, excellent, excellent one. Uh, highly recommend it. If you don't know this, give this a listen. If you're interested in kind of modern classical composers and something that is maybe a little more accessible than some of the other stuff you've heard, um, you know, Philip uh, Glass is certainly very good, but this particular Steve Reich record is excellent and boy, when I put this on, I get stuff done. Carpe diem, motherfuckers. Mood music for work. <laughs> 